welcome back to the explore youtube channel so in this video we're going to focus on the question wherein you will be given an array and the length of the array let's say n and the array is also given what you have to do is you have to rearrange the array in an increasing and decreasing format so let's say the array was something like this um let's say the array elements are 5 4 2 9 this is apparently 9 then we had let's say 6 and I guess one is completely fine, right? So the, how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So n is also six. Great. So what you have to do is you have to rearrange this in an increasing and decreasing format. So in this case, the increasing decreasing format means that the first half of the array should be increasing order, or let's say it should be in ascending order, and the second half of the array should be in descending order. So something like this, something like this should be the pattern. First the elements are increasing and then they are decreasing halfway through the array which is n by 2 okay this is the array halfway through the array this is this is what my general idea or the visual representation would be now again how to solve this the very first thing which comes to my mind is that okay i'll sort the array so sorting the array would apparently give me 1 2 4 5 6 and 9 if i'm not wrong there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 elements and then what i'll do is i'm kind of smart enough so what i'll say is that why don't I print, why don't I print the very first uh, half of the elements, right, in whatever the format they are. So let's say I'm going to print 1, 2, and 4. And then the second half of the elements, I'll print it in uh, reverse order. So I'll print, let's say, 9, 6, and 5 in this way. So you can see, like, halfway through the array, the very first block is increasing, and then this block is decreasing. 1, 2, 4, increasing, therefore ascending order. 965 decreasing therefore descending order now the thing is that um, okay instead of let's say printing i have to return the array i have to return the array well one thing i can do is that okay i'll create another array let's say temporary and in the temporary array i'll copy one two four and then i'll copy the reverse value nine um, six and five if i'm not wrong well, this is kind of good, but I will not prefer to use this because I'm going to use an additional space of big O of n. What I'll prefer to do is, I know for a fact the very first half is already in the increasing order format. So why don't I uh, do something with the second half? So in the second half, I'll say, I'll apply that logic of reversal of the array. So my start pointer will be here, my end pointer will be here, and then I'll happily swap these values one by one. So 5 and 9 get swapped, 9 and 5 comes up here, 6 comes up here, and then we have 9, 6, and 5. So after sorting the array, I just have to perform operation on the next or the second half of the array and we are good to go. And then at the very end, I can just simply return my array. And therefore, this is what the entire question is, rearranging the array in a uh, increasing and decreasing order format. Now, what is the space for this one? I see the space should be apparently big of one because I'm not using this temporary array. I'm doing it in the sorted array itself. Now, just because of sorting, I guess the time complexity would be, if I'm not wrong, big O of n log n. Then there will be an additional big O of n just to print the, I mean, not really print, but to access all of these second half elements. Well, it's going to be n by 2, but again, 1 by, so it's basically, see, n by 2 is what? It's n into 1 by 2. Again, this is constant, so I'll just consider n. Therefore, this is big O of n log n plus big O of n. And I'll say roughly time complexity is big O of n log n where big O denotes uh, time complexity in the worst case. So let's try to code it out. This is the function I've created. Rearrange, increasing, decreasing. Uh, array is given and the length of the array is given. At the very beginning, I'll say, why don't I sort the array? So that's going to look something like this, array.sort. Pretty simple. Now I'll say that, okay, my start pointer is going to be initially at n by 2, very important. And my end is going to be at n minus 1. Now I'll say, while my start is, let's say, less than equivalent to end, in that case, why don't I swap the values? So I'll just use that one liner, which we have discussed earlier as well. Array at end. And it's going to be apparently array at end. And then array at start. And that's going to pre pretty much wrap our problem. So at the very end, I'll increase the start pointer. And the I'll decrease the end pointer. And we are good to go. At the end, I'll say, why don't I return my array back? And we are good to go. My array is rearranged in an increasing and decreasing order format. So that's pretty much it. I hope you were able to derive something from the video. Uh, please make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. Thank you.